I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com, coming at you a day early because I'll be traveling tomorrow as part of Google I.O. Got some meetings, got some festivities, and of course, have the keynotes, all of which we're going to cover on PhoneDog.com, so stay tuned. I'm here to tell you about Week 16 and PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings because the People's Choice charts and the Experts charts, they've seen some changes over the week. Here's what ranked on the top five on the People's Choice chart, what you voted for in PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings. Now, if you're coming into this, tuning in perhaps, and you're like, I don't know what the Phone Dog official smartphone rankings are. Well, my friend, go find out. PhoneDog.com slash ranking. All you have to do is go over to PhoneDog.com slash rankings with an S, actually, and cast your vote, and then leave a review for your favorite device. So let's say you love the Galaxy Nexus. Let's say maybe you love the Galaxy S3, or perhaps you love that 1S or 1X. Go to PhoneDog.com slash rankings, cast your vote for your favorite phone, and leave a review while you're at it. Tell us why you love or why you hate your device as much as you do, because you may love it, but that other person, they may hate it. You know, we all have that phone in from time to time we don't like. I'd love to hear either way at PhoneDog.com slash rankings. On week 16's chart for the People's Choice chart in fifth place, the Nokia Lumia 900. It garnered 125 votes, which isn't bad considering it's got a 4.3-inch display, 4G LTE connectivity, and it comes in some pretty cool colors too. Blue, black, and then that glossy white. 125 votes and fifth place. In fourth place on the People's Choice chart, the HTC Evo 4G LTE with 150 votes. Now this is arguably the Mac Daddy of the One X line. It's not really called a One Series device, but it's packing everything that the One X has, plus a kickstand, plus a slightly larger battery, and a little bit of a different design. It's in fourth place with 150 votes. In third place on the People's Choice chart, the Motorola Droid Razor Max. Now this thing is getting ice cream sandwich as we speak, and perhaps that's what brought it back into the top five with 167 votes. Ice cream sandwich coming soon, rolling out now, and it's got a decent spec list as well with a dual core processor, an eight megapixel camera, and a big 3,300 milliamp hour battery. Third place, 167 votes. In second place, with 225 votes, the HTC One X. Now this is HTC's kind of flagship device. The One X is what you're gonna see in a lot of advertisements, although arguably, the Evo 4G LTE has better specs, but it's on Sprint, this one's on AT&T. So it's one of those like, six and one half dozen of the other kind of things because they're both very similar devices, but the One X comes in in second place with with 225 votes, that polycarbonate shell gets a place on the People's Choice chart yet again. In first place, with 407 votes, the Samsung Galaxy S3 Global. Now this thing has a 1.4 gigahertz quad-core Exynos processor, that big 4.8 inch display, comes in pebble blue and marble white. It is leading by a pretty wide margin with 407 votes. Now where it's gonna get interesting is the Galaxy S3 US version was just added to the list, so look back next week and let's see which one comes in on top. Will it be the global one or the US one or perhaps the One X will come back in in first place. We'll find out next week, but in the experts chart, this is what ranked in top five. One S by HTC, small device, packing a decent display and a nice killer body, fifth place. In fourth place, the Samsung Galaxy S3 Global. In third place, the Apple iPhone 4S. It's just hanging on, it's dropped though. It was in first, now it's in second, now it's in third on the experts chart, the Apple iPhone 4S. In second place, the Samsung Galaxy S3 US version. And you'll find that most of the people on the experts chart are reviewers, people like myself, people that have had hands-on with both for several weeks. I've got a bunch of US devices in the office and then I have the international one here as well. So it came in second place, the US version of the Galaxy S3, and in first place, the HTC One X, leading on the experts chart. So the people's choice chart, Galaxy S3 is top dog. On the experts chart, the HTC One X is top dog. Is that how it's gonna be next week for week 17? Well, I'll be back in a week from a new office telling you, phone dog, Charlotte's moving. So I'm moving to a new office and I'll be telling you the week 17 results. Stay tuned for those. In the meantime, cast your vote, phonedog.com slash rankings. Tell us what you love, what you hate about that device when you leave your review and be sure to cast your vote as well. Because as you've seen, if you follow these videos over the past 16 weeks, one vote can make a difference as to whether your device is on the top five or whether it's just out of the top five, perhaps in the sixth or seventh place. Stay tuned for more. I'm Aaron from PhoneDog.com. We'll see you next time for the week 17 results on PhoneDog's official smartphone rankings.